So assault teams. This is more something I'm going to be able to explain more than I'm going to be able to actually show you because new spawns to the game, they get no assault teams. You have to save up your resources and get your first assault team by right. via playing the game. So you'll notice on your right, same with how the character seem, or characters tab was, is you have your empty slots, which you can purchase with war funds now. Keep in mind, it's not credits, it's war funds. Ah, uh, okay. And once you do that, you'll spend an additional war funds on a certain type of... Uh, what do you call it? Assault oh, team. okay. So, so when you buy it, you don't automatically get uh, an assault team. You have to then spend more. Yes, because you, you have to buy the slot and then spend more right. to get the assault team. So okay. It takes a bit to actually get that part. You have to really right. Pay it. Um, you still might be able to click the tab on the bottom right corner. Where it says assault team progression overview. Yes, I can. Go ahead and click that so I can explain. Ooh. This oh, okay. Good. Because I was going to ask because I zoomed in on the map. And I mm -hmm. saw that the different boxes had different yes. shapes and stuff in them. Yep. So that's what I was wondering. All right, cool. so everything in level zero, that's actually perfect for to be able to explain everything. Everything in level zero is the first type of thing you can buy. So you can okay. buy just straight up infantry, a straight up guard, uh, light armor, or a fighter squadron. That's the first things that you can buy. Ooh. As your assault teams participate in battles, they can rank up. So they become level one, level two, or level three. Currently, there is nothing for level 3 right now, so level 1 and 2 are the only thing that matter. Excuse me. So infantry can turn into motorized infantry, which is basically... You have, like, a okay, jeeps see. You or get an APC. APC. Right. Yeah, and then mechanized... Inf Actually, no, I think the motorized infantry just has jeeps. Like, you'll have the... Whatever car it is, is for the Germans, and then you... Terrain have vehicle, yeah, yeah, that's what that... Yeah. And then the mechanized gives you your APC. Or, instead so of going mechanized, though, you can turn them into paratroopers. So player slots, it shows one terrain vehicle, six infantrymen, and then army resources. That's what you were talking about, how you have 64 lives and 24 lives. Yes. Okay. So, yeah, I, I, yeah, and your motorized infantry will take as an example, or even APCs. Yeah, we'll just click on APC. Okay. See, there's 58 infantry lives, so there can be 58 players that spawn as infantrymen and only 12 right. ACP, or APCs. Right. So you'll notice that you, the APCs also have lives, so you can technically... Uh, destroy, you know, 12 APCs of, of an enemy mechanized infantry, and then they're basically, they can't bring in more APCs until they get resupply that. At that point, okay. they're just infantrymen. Okay. So, essentially what that does is, is even if you enemies bring tanks and shit to the to the battle, because it works with tanks You can too, still take them out. You can blow up all the tanks and run out, they can run out of tank lives, and even though they still have or maybe tank crew lives left, they still can't spawn tanks, so it's... But they can, know, is it possible for them to just pump more money into it and get back their resources? Mm, yeah, I mean, you can, but it's not instant. I'm going to talk about that here in a second. Okay, okay. The, uh, remind, I'm gonna, once we get it all done, I'll talk about that. I can't okay. uh, unfortunately show it because I, I was hoping that earlier today, like I said, I had my assault teams participating, participating in battles. And I was hoping all right. some losses so I can show you how resupplying works. But, but your assault team is just too awesome. <laughs> unfortunately, it's not happening, so... <laughs> Alright, so then we have guard, which guard is, it's not always, it's half of an infantry unit, basically. So, it's instead of okay. having 64 lives, Yeah, I see that. So, and it's also the cheapest assault team to purchase. Mm -hmm. And also keep in mind that guard is the only infantry that can turn into anti-tank infantry, which, you know, obviously you use to combat tanks without being actual tanks. Right, right. Or recon, which is basically having an excess of snipers and shit like that. So, All right. even though they... Start off small. They have different upgrades in which they can turn into. And okay. then you have your armor, which light armor can either become a medium tank destroyer and just sit there, or turn into medium armor and then heavy armor. But keep in mind that heavy armor is only for the Germans because you know they're they're trying to keep this game historically accurate. And in World War II, you know, German tanks were way superior to any other tank. In any other fucking country, like they were just yeah. Like, unless you have socks <laughs> and and C4 and motor oil, then you you pretty much win. Uh, and a pistol. So it's true. Uh, so <laughs> saving Private Ryan, sir. Saving Private Ryan. I get it. Uh, and then right. fighter squadron is just right now. It's just there's two types of fighter planes, one for each faction. Okay. And, uh, I'm sure they'll make upgrades in the future, but currently that's that's all that there is there. Oh, okay. I well, this is this is good. I enjoy yeah. this. So, yeah, you're, you're seeing why this is going to be a multi-part tutorial. Mm -hmm. um, we might... I don't even know if we'll be we're in part two at this point, but... Probably. Uh, probably in part two at this point. But basically, uh, lots to learn. 
but you know that's why we're, it's what we're teaching you so you can get into the game and uh, know what's going on rather than just because it's, it's more than just an FPS it's more than just playing Call of Duty or something like that you know There's a lot to this game <laughs> yeah mindless drop shotting yeah not really uh, not really a thing yet good luck good luck with that <laughs> I'm just so the last thing before we jump into combat is Ooh. resupplying because that's what we just talked about a minute ago right so in the event, and I really wish it would happen so I could have showed you, <laughs> my assault team's lost troops. All right, so I'm down to 30-some lives, okay? Okay. I pay additional war funds to get to resupply that, that mm -hmm. uh, assault team. But yeah. instead of making it overpowered where it just instantly jumps to 64, you're going to have a separate mini sub-assault team spawn at your capital that has your reinforcements. So you have to bring those assault team reinforcements all the way across the map uh, to link up with your assault team in order to uh, fully resupply it. So yes, uh, if you were to kick an a, entire assault team's ass and they're right. forced to resupply, chances They'd are they're wait. not going to be able to get that their re their right. reinforcements for that assault team, you know, during that battle because they have to uh -huh. wait the entire fucking time it takes to resupply. That's pretty good. Yeah, so they that's a huge factor in balancing out the way assault teams work <laughs> because effectively eliminating targets. You know, they're right. Still gonna help it's you kind battle. of a big deal. The only way to kind of a big deal. Yeah, the only way to get proper reinforcements fast is to have a whole separate assault team, so a whole other player bring their troops into the battle. Right. From yeah, that's awesome. Now is that yeah. instant? Yeah, like once they bring, if they there's an assault team that has its own supply of whatever number, right. and that goes into a battle, that is instant. So okay. like I said, it you can be in the game and just be. And you're up against tanks and have zero tanks, and then have some troops of other assault teams move their tanks into the territory, and then all of a sudden, you know, tanks are able to spawn in your side, which can change right. the title of a battle. So if I so if I have my assault team, say like this the scenario that we said earlier, like I'm at work, you're playing, you need some tanks, I just happen to be you know like five cities over, mm -hmm. and I'm like okay, well let me move my my tank infantry or my t infantry my tank assault team to to you. I'm going to have to wait for them to actually move from that city to your city, yes. or will it just be instant? No. That is, you have to wait for the movement. There's oh, no man, that's teleporting. Good. Everything okay. has to move. <laughs> really? Yeah. They didn't have that in World War II? I'm pretty sure that the Germans were on to something with teleportation. <laughs> no, they're up to all sorts of scientific uh, shit. Yeah. That nobody ever knows. They might create some giant flaming zombie dogs, but that's not a big deal. Yeah, we'll, we'll take care of that when that time comes. <laughs> All right, man. So, so yeah, that's good. That's, that's this is the the first part of the game. This is the general aspect. Your your menus. It's all browser based. Um, your campaign, your character, your assault teams. Um, obviously, you won't be able to get into the whole assault team part until you play the actual game. Right. Now it's time. It's time to move on to actual combat and see how that plays out. I feel like okay. I've been learned. Yeah, you're learning, right? You you have you have the knowledge. You done you done learned me. You learned me.